This small island is undoubtedly one of the world's leading fishing holiday destinations. A European fishing paradise so jaw-droppingly beautiful, you won't believe your eyes. Oh, that's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. Whoa! World famous big game fishing for species like marlin and tuna, a rocky coastline full of weird and wonderful micro species, and volcanic streams stuffed with incredibly beautiful wild rainbow trout. Fish on, fish on. Welcome to Madeira. Throughout this video we'll be going on a journey, retracing my steps and recasting my lines from a fishing holiday I'll never forget. We'll also be exploring Madeira's fascinating culture, including being pushed down a hill by two blokes in a wooden sledge. Starting off with the easiest, most accessible and arguably most enjoyable way to catch fish on holiday, let's do some light rock fishing. On this day I had a spare hour to fish the hotel jetty before going out for dinner, and this is what happened. So first fish, I hadn't even properly started filming. Look at the colours on that. Fish on, fish on, fish on. What is this? Oh, it's a nice one. That is a nice one. Come on, yes. Look at that for an ornate wrasse. What an absolute tank. Another beautiful fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Whoa, whoa. So I have finally caught one of these blue ones I've been after. And look at that. I am absolutely over the moon with that fish. Fish, 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 come on. That's a nice one as well. That's given the fair scrap. Oh, <laughs> another one of these. Come on, look at that for a fish. Not quite um, as black as the last one, but look at that blue under its fin. The next day we were on a sightseeing taxi tour around the island and we asked our driver, Abel, if there was a chance he could put us on a spot where there's a bit of structure in the water, maybe a pier or something, somewhere where we might be able to catch some fish. Unsurprisingly, he pulled out the bag and put us on a place where he caught even more different species. Bite, I'm having bites. First drop. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> what is that? Come on. Do you know this is called? What's this called? Uh, it's Sargo. 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 Thank you. So, according to a local, this is called a sargo. Lovely looking fish. Pretty much as soon as we got started on this place. Right, come on, let's see what else there is down there. I had another one chasing it up. Fish on, fish on, and again, come on. Yes, we got another one. Now, what are you? Come on, yes. So this here is what I believe to be my first ever puffer fish. Absolutely insane. Second fish after that sargo. Look at that. After this trip, there was one more fish I desperately wanted to catch. A rarer and much more colorful puffer fish species. And we knew just the spot to make it happen. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, what is it? Oh, it's another one. Another ornate wrasse. Look at that for another ornate wrasse. That is absolutely beautiful. Get it over, get it over. Yay! That's amazing, Georgia. Bring it over here. So Georgia's just caught a first canary damsel fish. Look at that for a fish. That is just beautiful. Today? Wow. So that's what the locals have been catching today. A lot bigger than what we have, I have to say. Fish on. It's a oh. puffer. Yes! That's one of the ones I wanted to catch. Look at that for a fish. That is one of the coolest looking things I've ever seen. 
That is absolutely amazing. While Madeira is famous for its sea fishing, the island has a vast network of levadas, which are essentially small mountain irrigation canals. It's also full of volcanic streams and rivers, home to an abundance of spectacularly colourful wild rainbow trout. Before we went fishing for them, we jumped in a cable car that took us deep into the mountains. The views on the way up were incredible and it was definitely a unique way to see Funchal, the capital. Here we visited a crystal museum and some stunning ornamental gardens. This really is one of the things that makes Madeira so special. There are so many exotic, vibrant and well manicured green spaces and this one absolutely blew me away. Koi carp, incredible views, statues, this place had it all. While we cable carred up the hill we had something very special planned for the way back down. Riding a wooden basket sledge back to the capital is a culturally unique experience dating as far back as the 19th century. Being pushed down a steep hill in a wooden sledge at speeds of up to 30 km an hour was definitely an experience. When you consider you're sharing the road with cars, vans and other traffic, you can see why this doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. Anyway, let's get into the mountains and do some trout fishing. Just look at this place, it is incredible. You might even be able to see all the fish down there if you look closely enough. So this is what we're starting things off with today. This is the size zero rigged and ready barbless spinner. So the setup I'm using is the rigged and ready RR1000 fixed spool spinning reel with the Fish Rig 180 semi-telescopic rod today. Just about to have my first cast for trout in this little volcanic stream. Oh, fish on, fish on, first cast. Net, Georgia, can you get the net? So on the very first cast, this has just happened. Absolutely beautiful little rainbow trout. Got absolutely nailed on the first cast. Fish, fish on. Oh, that's a slightly nicer one. Absolutely beautiful thing from a volcanic stream in the mountains. I am blown away at how beautiful some of these little rainbow trout are. It's absolutely incredible. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about the video. Look at that. There is hundreds and hundreds of trout in there. Fish. That's the biggest one so far. Biggest one so far, Georgia. Oh, oh, oh come on. It's not a bad trout, that. Well, this is no monster, but look at that. That's probably the prettiest one so far. Definitely the biggest one so far as well. Stunning little wild rainbow. This spoon is working an absolute treat. I can't stress how full this place is with fish. There is just absolutely loads of them. After fishing underneath the waterfall, we climbed along a very dodgy path on the side of the stream. We were determined to find more fish so Georgie could catch her first ever rainbow trout. Alright Georgie, let's get you on now. That's what the mission is. Look at all these fish, they are going mad for the spoon. Fish. Over to me. Yes, well done. Look at this one. Look how unique that belly is. What an absolutely stunning little trout. What a place this is. Absolute trout fish in paradise. So I'm just going to try quickly send one right the way around this corner. Can't see if what's there, so there could be a surprise. Oh, that's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Look at that for a pristine little rainbow trout. That is absolutely beautiful, the spots and the colours on it. I just can't believe it. 
Off you go. Look at that. Before we head out deep sea fishing, we have a lot more of the island to see. The scenery is absolutely unbelievable. Dramatic coastal cliffs, waterfalls, soaring peaks and lush forests, it truly has it all. As well as being full of natural wonders, the artistic cities and fishing villages are absolutely spotless. We visited quite a few places like this, as well as some famous statues and well-known bars. Another thing particularly interesting about Madeira is that the entire island is obsessed with their national hero, Cristiano Ronaldo. Deep sea fishing in Madeira is special because the water depth drops to the seabed just one kilometre offshore. No lengthy trips are required to get out to the fishing grounds and the island is on a migration route for a number of big game species like marlin. The deep subtropical waters are also home to snapper, grouper and much more. We mostly use 200 gram metal jigs and chunks of squid but apparently our best chance at a huge fish would be trolling home at the end of the day just as it starts to get dark. How deep are we here? 130. We will, well, we will try with the jig hit. But then if nothing, yeah. I put another line. Mm -hmm. I put the uh, squid. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so to wear that what that's a red snapper, is it? Yep. Lovely. Fish. Hey, nice one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Fargo Capella. Fargo Capella. Look at that, first fish for me. What would you say about four or five pounds? <laughs> Red snapper. Red snapper. Over the moon with this. So what a fish that was. I know it wasn't the most glamorous of hookings, but that fish is coming back to be eaten, so no bother at the end of the day, is it? Just celebrating with a little super bock mini now. This feels a bit bigger than the last one. I don't know. I don't know. Just lighter rod, no, no. smaller rod. I'm not sure. Nope. Maybe two fish. Whoa! What's that? Dogfish. Dogfish? Dogfish. We have a very different sort of dogfish at home. It looks nothing like that. Dogfish over here. Absolutely beautiful thing. Look at that. Okay. Yep. Ah, come on, fish. Come on. Go home. No, no. Go on. He's gone. Yeah, good, okay. Capella? Capella. Capella. Same as last time, but a lot smaller. Yeah, it's yeah. smaller. Nice. But it's really nice for it. It's really tasty. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of grouper, but smaller. So this is a grouper? Grouper? Garupa. Grouper. Small one. Striping. <laughs> On the squid. Yes, good! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a bit bigger, that. Yeah, bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> so, this is a, a snapper. Red snapper. Red snapper. Look Arga. at that top fin. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> what a beautiful fish that is. So <laughs> pleased on a whole squid. It was great fun fishing out on the boat, it really meant we could get a different perspective looking at Madeira from the sea. The 
Snapper and Grouper just kept on coming. We were getting bites on the squid more or less every drop, but nothing that felt very big. Until this happened. So whatever we've got on here is fighting hard. <laughs> Not half digging this one. Okay, come on, two palva. Two, oh, three. <laughs> 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 I thought it felt bigger than that one. <laughs> Look at that. Three in one. Isn't that something? <laughs> so this is going to be the last drop or two now and then we're going to head back and we're going to troll our way back. So I'll take some videos and photos for you. Hopefully it's going to take a lot of luck to get something but hope we do. Unfortunately, we didn't have any luck trolling on our way back home, but the time of year just wasn't quite right. Some incredible memories were made on this trip, both fishing and otherwise. I absolutely get the feeling though that from a fishing perspective, we only scratch the surface of what this fishing paradise of an island has to offer. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you down the road. <laughs>